aren't these amazing? I'm sure you've seen these Archimedes screw generators used by municipalities all over the world to turn water power into electricity. If only you could have one at home. I think they're such a great idea. So I saw this film with a home engineer building his own Archimedes screw generator using pipes and commonly found parts. It didn't look so difficult, so I thought I'd give it a go, as we live in a water mill in France and always need more electricity that's free. Hey, wonderful people, and welcome back to the workshop. What have I been working on recently? Well, always to try and find some free electricity, some free power. And this is my current project. It's an Archimedes screw generator that sits underwater in this duct, channeling the water down the screw and hopefully spinning it really fast and connected via a chain to a generator. Will it work? Hmm. But the principle's pretty good. Water comes in and is screwed down the shaft and exits at the bottom. It's in an open frame and it's got this duct which channels the water around the screw. It's a good idea, but really not very powerful. The problem at present is that the water egress is either blocked by the cog, which is going to be hooked up to a generator, or at the other end, this has blades to drill into the ground, and that blocks the water going up the ducted channel. What I'm going to try is put a much smaller cog on here to get higher rotation speed, and then put the big cog, this one, on the uh, generator. I think inherently it's just too small and it's just not going to produce any power. But it certainly works using the Archimedes screw principle, but meh, needs to be better. It has issues. Let's go and try it in the water and you'll see what I mean. The water tries to enter the top end of the screw and a lot of it just splashes off. It needs some way of channeling the water actually in higher content down the channel. And then at the egress, the outflow, it's blocked by that big cog. Um, I think just scaling it up might work. Building a bigger one might produce more power. But it certainly rotates. I don't think it's going to power much more than a mobile phone at present. Obviously the generator is completely missing in these shots. I intended to put a chain drive from that cog to a generator to produce some electricity. But this is very much Mark 1. So this is what I plan for the future. To modify the trough to have more water in it by making a scoop at one end and extending the axle out so it's not actually blocking the water going in and having the motor up out of the water. So you engineers out there, I'd really appreciate your input. I think scaling it up would make more power. But what would you do to actually ease the flow of the water, make it rotate faster and just be more efficient? A big shout out to all my patrons who have been really deeply involved in this project. You can support me for free just by joining Patreon. Thanks for watching and see you back here soon.